Hey, this is for if you're having trouble with the final edge pairing on a 7x7 V-Cube. Um, when I was learning this one, I figured everything out on my own, and then I was stuck on this part, and I wish there was a tutorial for it, and there wasn't a specific tutorial, so I'm making one. This is just for helping figure this out. Okay, so using the same move from the 4x4 and the 5x5 and the 6x6, which hopefully you know and can apply to this, or you're screwed. So I did this on four different colors so you can see what happens. So when you do that move, when stuff's lined up, there, here's the f um, four things in question. So this was the front, and I did the um, splitting move. And what happens is this piece and this piece switch, this middle and this middle switch, and the top outside and bottom outside from opposite, from the opposite side switch. So because of that, when you have colors that are messed up like this, these ones are backwards and you can't just, and it's not like that. But what you would do is you would have the same color on the outside, so whatever it was, um, and you would match both of the colors the same as whatever this piece is to switch. But in this case, because these are backwards, these pieces actually have to be the ones to go on the outside. So to do that, um, you can put them on the outside. So then now it's lined up. So this top and that bottom need to get switched. And the two in the center are the ones that match up this edge right there. That's the most important part to match up. Um, these will switch and that'll stay black. These will switch and that'll stay black. And these will switch solving both of those. And for the other cases are a lot easier than that one. You put them in the middle. Um, if you have the um, just the middles swapped, you'd still just middle match up the middle piece with the and have the same color on the outsides. Or if you have the um, like black black red and then black red red, it would just because that's red you would line up the reds on both the outsides. So just match that one up, and then we just take one move, and it's really simple, and you can proceed to um, finish up all your edge pairing and solving of your 7x7, and yeah, thanks for watching.